Hello friends the geospatial technology is being used in a variety of fields right from agriculture to oil and mining defense utilities food and consumer goods delivery transportation infrastructure and the list is endless the skills required to be a successful gs professional have evolved over the years if you are a fresh graduate and willing to build a career in gis but not sure about the way forward then this video is for you here we'll discuss about building a strong background for a career in gis based on what majority of employers are looking for so without wasting much time let us jump over it by that time please like and subscribe the channel if you have not done so far we will start with understanding the basic qualification required most of the employers strongly prefer at least a bachelor's degree depending on the industry of the job listing that degree would be preferably in geography computer science engineering or urban planning job seekers that have a bachelor degrees in another major should supplement their college education with a certificate program in gis those striving for a managerial position in gis will be more successful if they also have a masters degree The starting point in building a successful career in GIS is building a solid knowledge base. This involves taking classes in cartography, GIS, spatial analysis, database management, web technologies and programming etc. There are a lot of GIS certificate courses that help understanding basic fundamentals of GIS. You may start by taking a general coaching on what is GIS themed courses. This is required because it is important to understand the general concept in GIS before actually attempting some of the functionalities. You may find the link to my short video on what is GIS in the description. Taking a good cartography course is also useful, often overlooked by many seeking GIS knowledge. A comprehension of cartography techniques is specially important for understanding map making. and for learning how to create maps that are effective in communicating geographic data learning gis software applications are very important after gaining core subject knowledge the next step is to take coursework that applies the concept of gis technology and cartography these courses are always software specific so it is important to choose a class that teaches the software that is most popular and having major chances of using that once employed currently esri products dominate the commercial gis software market while open source software qgis has made enormous growth in its adoption if you are unsure which software to learn i suggest learning about esri's arcgis suite of products as these are the software applications that most often required by the employers You can also do a job search of company and agencies in the area you want to work to see what GIS software they are requiring for employment. Classes specific to GIS software packages can be taken at many universities and colleges through satellite courses from the software companies themselves or through online distance learning. A growing option is the offering of GIS MOOC that is massive open source online courses. and some of which are offered for free also the next step would be taking up hands on exercise into the next level the current trend in gis is customization and application development more and more gis packages are being altered to serve specific gis purposes most of the software packages contain some ability for customization using programming language the type of language will be affected by the software application for example python is a common scripting language for extending arcgis and qgis functionality for the browser based mapping applications understanding the various web based languages such as html and javascript is critical since gis analysis involves integration of spatial and tabular data some knowledge of relational database management system is must Taking a class in SQL that is structured query language is important to mastering RDMS and understanding query options. Getting GIS experience is the next step. So far we are into the learning phase but now it is time to make our hands dirty. 
Internships are extremely popular in GIS as they allow the employer a cheap source of labor for lower layer GIS tasks and in turn provide a valuable training experience for the intern. The only way to become proficient in GIS is by using it. The coursework will only serve to provide a base knowledge of a field and without some form of practical experience. Most companies will not be interested in hiring a candidate without working experience. To find internship, check with the, your school of geography or urban planning department. Oftentimes, companies and agencies looking for students' help will advertise here. You can also directly inquire about places that you are interested in working with. Based on your performance in internships, they may lead to full-time positions as well. Once you have completed your coursework and get hands-on experience, now you are good to go for a job. But where do you look for a job? There are quite a few job sites on the internet specializing exclusively in GIS employment opportunities. So write up a resume and cover letter and hit the internet. Aim for the job that meet your education and experience level. Some of the GIS positions that you may look for are as follows. GIS interns. Here, internships are the mostly low-paying part-time jobs, but they are the best way to get further GIS training and to develop your skills in GIS in a real-world setting. Learning GIS out of a textbook is a great way to get started, but in reality, very few GIS tasks are solved as neatly as mentioned in the textbook or by following steps 1 to 10. Getting an internship has become more competitive in recent years. To be competitive candidate for an internship, only apply once you have taken a solid groundwork of GIS course, especially an introduction to GIS class, a second advanced GIS class, a separate cartography class, and a class covering database. While an internship provides on-the-job training, you will mostly be expected to learn on your own, so it is important to already have a good baseline to start from. After an internship, you should be able to aim for a GIS technician's job. The job title GIS technician and GIS specialist tend to be used interchangeably. They are both journey level positions. GIS technicians should have a solid grasp on the most common GIS task. Example of those tasks are the ability to edit the vector data, create a data in GIS software application from a multitude of sources like paper documents, Spreadsheet, hand-drawn maps, GPS data, drone collected data, satellite imagery, etc. You should be able to work with external database including understanding structure query language, understanding projection and coordinate system, work with GPS receivers to collect the data and a strong cartographic design skills. A good majority of GIS positions are looking for proficiency in ArcGIS and QGIS. Common tasks involved in cartographic output, meaning map making and data manipulation. A lot of positions are also starting to look for some basic programming experience. I would suggest you going through my video series on WebGIS application development using open layers. You may find the link in the description. Next position could be GIS analyst. This position is a bit level above. Here, you should be performing more complex analysis and rdbms in addition an analyst should also be primarily concerned with the application development and should have a fair amount of programming experience for example if you work with esri's arcgis software or qgis python will be a programming language gs analyst should have a strong skill in cartographic design analytical geography database design and management programming and good communication skills, including strong written skills. Supervisory abilities and project management are also common responsibility with this GIS analyst. The next level could be GIS coordinator or a GIS manager. Depending on the company or agency, usually the manager has at least five to six years of working experience in the field. The manager would also be required to have budgetary and project management experience. Depending on the size of the team, this position may or may not involve much of a technical responsibilities. 
As with all technical fields, GIS is rapidly developing field. Keep yourself up to date by attending various conferences and reading GIS based publications. Ongoing GIS training is also important to keep up with the advances in this rapidly developing technical fields. So I hope you are finding this guideline useful to you in shaping up your career in GIS. Please like and subscribe the channel for getting notification of the video as soon as they are released. Also share this video with your friends and colleagues. Thank you and have a great time.